hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to learn how to patch our socks a different way than what I showed you previously um, in my last video I showed you how to use a darning mushroom to um, fix the heel of your socks or any holes in the socks but today we're going to learn a different way um, we're going to do a knitted patch which is very easy. Um, I'll show you how we work it. And this is a lot faster than the weave, weaved one that I showed you uh, in a previous video. So here are my socks. The hole is at the heel. And it's quite a, it, it's not a big hole, this one. It's not as big as the one I had in my other socks. But the, the work around it is quite thinned out. Um, so I'm going to make my patch a bit bigger, maybe like this big, to kind of cover and um, make it a bit sturdier. So you want to fold your sock like this. This is a, um, a top-down sock uh, with a heel flap and gusset, uh, so you can do it on any sock. But we want to fold it. like this and I'm going to use circular needles you can use uh, any kind of needles you want flexi flips if if they're easier for you um, yeah I'm going to use double for uh, I'm going to use circular needles because I like my child gear better than any other needles and I want to look at my sock and kind of calculate I want my patch to be maybe around like this so I'm going to start somewhere here, let's say, this column of stitches. So the, the knit stitches are these going up like this. And I want to put my needle on every right leg of the column of stitches. So I'm going to start here. Put my needle through, go to the next one, the next one. I hope you can see. And if your uh, work is felted like mine, you kind of need to stretch it a little bit so you can see where the column of stitches are for you. Maybe do one more here. Uh, yeah, I think that's about right. And then slide your stitches to the beginning over here. So you have all your stitches on your left needle and you've got an empty right needle to start working. So I'm going to take my yarn and I'm using cotton to uh, make it really, really sturdy. There we go, leave quite a tail, and then we're going to start knitting. And yes, I do knit through the back loop sometimes, because I'm a combination knitter, and I purl differently than most people. I have videos on all that, if you are interested, uh, please have a look on my channel. There we go. Now this patch is going to be slightly smaller than this patch because this hole was bigger. So uh, if you want your socks to match, then just count your stitches and pick up as many as you picked up for that one. So we've done a knit row, then we're going to turn our work and do a purl row. There we go, turn your work again, we're going to do a knit row. So it's kind of like you just knit an attached 
patch to your sock. I'm going to do one more row and then I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. So that's pretty flat. So this is what it looks like so far. So as you can see, this one I made it tapered because I didn't need to uh, patch the sides. So you knit as much as you need to with this amount of stitches and then you can start decreasing for this part here. And I'm going to speed it up until we need to do that and I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see, it just looks like a added flap to your sock. And what you want to do is put your hand through your sock like this. And because it's a heel, you want to try to bring it over and see and measure how much you need to do. Oops, that's not good, is it? All my stitches came out. All right, let's put them back in. There we go, all sorted. Now let me put my needle here so it doesn't fall out again. So let's go do it again. Cover your hole and see you've still got a bit. And then, but you want to start to taper it um, you want to start to decrease on the sides for a little bit and we're going to come up to this side so we only need to knit a little bit longer and in order to decrease we're just going to do ssks and knit two together which is simple uh, i'm going to knit one and then slip one slip one knit through the back loop and then knit to three left Knit two together, knit one. And if you're interested to see these kind of decreases in slow motion and more explain with more explanation, then I have videos on that on my channel. Just uh, have a look on the playlist. Then the wrong side, we just purl. And I think I want to decrease one more time. And that's it. Slip one, slip one, knit through the back loop, knit to three left, knit two together, knit one. And that's all the decreases I'm going to do for this particular patch. I'm just going to do some knits and pearls, um, knit, <laughs> knit rows and purl rows until we're ready to finish our uh, patch. And you want to continue to measure as you keep knitting. I mean, it doesn't matter if you make it bigger, as long as it's not smaller. And as you can see, it covers my hole quite well. 
and I think I'm just going to bind off now and show you how to stitch it. You just bind off normally. There we go. And you want to leave a long tail because we've got a lot of stitching to go around our patch. Okay, we're going to move the needles out of the way. And then use a darning needle like this to stitch around our patch. Oh, sorry. First of all, I need to pull my yarn through. There we go. The, the bind off is finished now. So obviously starting where your bind off finished, you want to make sure that you pull your patch properly over your the um, hole in your sock and then holding it we're just going to weave in the sides of the patch with the sock like this and it doesn't have to be very tidy because it's a patch the messier the cooler it looks so I'm just doing whip stitch so picking up a leg of a column of stitches from the sock and then a leg of the side of my patch so I'm just gonna go around like this So then have a look what it looks like. It's all right, looks quite neat. So you're just gonna go around your patch all the way to the bottom, then reattach yarn here and come all the way to the top. And that's your patch. So I'm gonna speed that up and uh, I'll show you how to weave in the ends when we're finished. So once you finish stitching around your patch, you want to bring your yarn on the inside and weave in the end. I'm going to have a look at the patch on the inside as well. Oop. There we go. Looks quite cool. So just weave in the ends by going under the pearl bombs, down the pearl bombs, make a knot. With cotton I tend to want to do two knots somewhere, so I'm going to do one knot here, quite a tight one, and then continue weaving in for a bit longer and do another knot just to make sure that it's secure. I know some people split the yarn in half, but I don't know. If it's something that I wash a lot in the washing machine, then yeah, but if it's a patch like this, then I can't be bothered. There we go, second knot and cut your yarn.
And that is it. That is a knitted patch on a sock. Oh, oops. That's not good, is it? I need to weave in that in, weave that in as well. So that's what it looks like. Knitted patch on a sock. I hope that uh, this video was helpful. Please let me know. And also, like I said in my previous video, let me know what type of yarn do you use for socks, knit socks that are sturdy because that's what I need. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.